Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video is part of a collaboration group which uh, a group of, us, of YouTubers get together every month and provide something that's a little bit of fun and create something meant to lighten your day but not to be taken too seriously. This month's collaboration video is the five ways to survive Christmas and winter camping. Well, that's interesting for us because normally we wouldn't be in the UK at no. this time. But nevertheless, we have a set of principles that we probably would follow whether we're abroad or not. And so the first thing for us is to turn, was to turn Norfolk into a bit of a winter playground. <laughs> um, we don't go any further than that because we can't guarantee the weather, but in Norfolk, we've got everything we need. So our first principle is... Don't neglect the beach. There's so much to see and do on, along the coastline here in Norfolk. Um, it's such an exhilarating place to be, and there's always something different to see. So... Don't neglect the beach. Yeah, we live near, the, near to the border with Suffolk as well, yeah, so we sometimes do. we yeah. even go over the border onto the beaches yeah. there, which is, uh, they're also awesome. So here's some, some examples of the sort of winter walks you can do on the beach. It's exhilarating, sometimes bracing, <laughs> but sometimes it's brass monkeys weather. It is, yeah. And the yeah. only difference between summer and winter walking on the beach is that in winter you're just wearing more clothes. But it does get you in the mood for mulled wine. It certainly does. <laughs> Our second way to enjoy or survive winter and Christmas is to go to the lights and listen to the music. Yeah, so wherever we are, we always try and drop into either a light, turn on, or um, something that's interesting like a festival. Something that captures the spirit of Christmas, but involves the community. And this year was no different. We headed out to Holt, where we camped um, close to Sheringham and Cromer into Holt for the lights which are probably the best little town lights which oh, we've yes. ever been to yeah it was yeah. really good they said it was the biggest turnout they'd had for many years yeah. probably because last year was off limits um, and that was the first thing and the second thing was we went to Sandringham yes we went to a place something called Luminate um, which is around the woods in and around Sandringham um, we've uh, we have done a bit short vlog on that already but here's a taster for you to uh, and a reminder of what we saw when we were there The third way we survive winter and Christmas is to link into the true meaning of Christmas. And this year we went to a real nativity and um, a walk through Bethlehem village. You even actually had a part in it, didn't you? I even had a part of it in it and I got dressed up and even took part in what I can only describe as some dodgy dancing. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Here's a clip. Ah, 
our next tip for enjoying the winter period and surviving Christmas and winter is to enjoy the outdoors. Yeah, every weekend we like to, wherever we are with, with the motorhome, if at all possible, we like to park run. Um, and if we can't park run, we enjoy walking in the woods. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we could do both. We did the Sandringham Park Run, which is th through the Royal Woodland. And Saturday is Park Run Day, which is today. So as you know, if you've followed us before, uh, you know what Park Runs are, because we've explained it. But if not, uh, they are a three mile or a 5K run, walk, Push chair, ride, walk your dog. Or even dog today. And, and we've done it all really. We've yeah. I've pushed our grandsons yeah. in a, yeah. in a in one race. It's just about yeah. getting out in the fresh air and doing some exercise. And uh, we can we often look at for the, the where we stay in and look for a park run. And we've done park runs all over the UK, yeah. up on the uh, Isle of Lewis, yes. yeah. uh, right down to yeah. Pathwelly Beach, uh, all around the east coast of, of East Anglia and the south coast. So wherever we are, uh, that's what we do. And yeah. today we're running at Sandringham, it's a fairly new one, and uh, we're looking forward to it. And also, another special thing is, is that it's, it's Poppy's, Poppy's first, first park run. run. So we'll be fine as long as we don't see squirrels, deer, birds, um, then she will be good. I yeah. might get a personal best through not trying at all because the dog might pull me along. Yeah. <laughs> so you can hear the dogs love park run. <laughs> yeah, there's another thing is they all join in together, don't they? So one sets off, they all set off. Poppy's a little bit bemused by it all, I have to say. But uh, when we get running, we'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> Good girl, last corner, keep it up. Go find the pops you'll have finished ages ago. He's a fast runner. And our fifth and final way for trying to survive Christmas and winter is to embrace your childhood. We managed to find a traditional fairground when we were at Sandringham and um, took, yeah, went on some of the rides. Yes, you certainly did. <laughs> but it's a funny thing with this, uh, YouTube in like though, isn't it? Is that you can't just go on a helter skelter, you have to have a GoPro. GoPro with here. you, of course. Check this out. So hopefully you've enjoyed our, our quick five principles for enjoying Christmas. It's worked for us so far. We've had a, quite a decent month, haven't we? We certainly have, yeah. Uh, we're just trying to assimilate now the fact that we can't go to France <laughs> after Christmas and almost to Spain through France. Yeah. Uh, we just, as we were putting this together, that news has just come through. Yeah. So watch this space. We'll, do, we'll keep you updated with our plans for the new year. But uh, happy Christmas. Um, and we hope you have a wonderful new year yourself. Yeah. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram. We'll put the links below. Also, if you've enjoyed the subject, please watch the other videos in the collaboration chain. There's some new um, joiners this month into yeah. the collaboration chain, all, all of whom are, are pretty good on YouTube. So yeah. please check out the channels and, uh, and stay with us uh, as a collaboration group by following us all if you can. So thanks once again. All the very best. Thank you for visiting the channel. Thank you. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye. Bye.